I think I'm gonna try to get back to my standard vlogging style. I liked how my older vlogs were going and it kind of has like the music in it and everything. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys can already see. I obviously just started recording this video and yeah, I don't really know how it's gonna turn out, but hey, let's just try it I guess, right? Anyways guys, it is beautiful this morning. It's 53 degrees outside. It's about 8.15 in the morning. Got some Alchemy cold brew. I've never tried this stuff before. I've had the, uh, what's it called? The roastery cold brew. I've had that one, that one's brewed in downtown Kansas City. This is brewed in Lawrence, Kansas, so about an hour drive away from here. Pretty good stuff. I think the roastery cold brew is a little bit stronger, but this has a good flavor to it. I don't have school today, and the reason why is because we have parent-teacher conferences. I'm actually going to go in with my dad and just hear what my teachers have to say about me and my performance in class and everything. Pretty sure I'm going to get a pretty good report since I have all A's in all my classes. been working really hard to do that. That's also why I haven't been making that many videos, but I don't know if I'm going to be taking you guys into the school. It's kind of weird and awkward. I tried to do it last year, but no, it just wasn't really interesting. So after that, after we get back, I have my spacers coming in today and that is the whole reason that I'm recording this video right now so I'm just gonna be waiting all day for those to get here they said it's gonna be delivered after 5 p.m. it's been a few days since I made a video so I'm gonna give you guys a little cold start I think you guys deserve that so here we go cold start in three two one <laughs> Alright guys, I just got home from conferences, they went really well, and my dad said we can do something for lunch, so I'm probably the next time I'm going to see you is when we are at lunch, and then after that, hopefully my spacers will be here and we can get them installed onto the car. I'm super excited, I've been waiting for about three weeks for these spacers, and yeah, I don't know how much more I can express how excited I am, I, I just want my old wheels back on. So. That's what's going on guys. I will see you guys in a little bit. Actually, like a second, because I'm just gonna cut the clip and everything. You, you know, just 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 cut to lunch. Looking good. Good stuff. Mm hmm Delicious. Since I'm out running around, I'm just gonna grab a quick car wash. And I also need some anti-seize, so I got that as well. I used copper anti-seize last time, and whenever I was pulling off the old spacers, I had to use a hammer to like beat them off, break them loose. So I got aluminum anti-seize, or just the regular anti-seize lubricant instead of copper anti-seize, which is what I used last time. I'm gonna have to wire brush all the rust and other anti-seize off, and then use that stuff, see if it, hopefully it works, or else I wasted $5. That would suck. But I'm back home now and I'm waiting on my spacers to get here. Still, it's 1.45. Hopefully they're here before like five o'clock. It's starting to get dark pretty quick here and I need to have time to get my wheels back on. I will see you guys later on, hopefully when my spacers are here. Yeah, dude. I probably sh shouldn't have shown you guys that label, but it's all good here. Let me try to get this inside. Actually, I'm gonna leave it right there and just go open the garage. Dude, last time I got roasted in the comments for using a flathead screwdriver to open it, I'm finally using a knife, guys. Come on. Don't roast me this time. Oh, check this out. I got a little spacer tower. My friends like put that like that for some reason. But, new spaces are in. Let's open these boys up. right here. Alright, we got our invoice. Got some instructions. Hey, thanks for your order. 
There's the lug nuts. Put these on. Oh wow, these are tinier than I expected. Here is the spacers, guys. Oh wow, this is lit. All right, so there is the first spacer. They're also hub centric, which is really good. You can see the ring. Yeah, these are good quality, guys. They're really nice. So there's all four of these spacers and the lug nuts that come with them to get them installed. These are really nice quality. I'm gonna go take one of these inside and see if it fits into the back of the wheel, make sure everything's all good before I start jacking up the car and all that. Oh yes, dude. That hub centric is so nice. That is a sturdy fit right there. That is sweet. Super stoked right now. All right, so right now I'm basically going to get my car jacked up and I'm gonna start working on getting these back installed. I'm so happy and excited. Also before I install these, on the left right here is an old spacer and on the right side is one of the new ones. You can see the difference in height. And yeah, the threads, the uh, threads stick out about the same length, but there's the difference in height. This is one inch. This is 0.75 inches. Hopefully this will help solve my rubbing issue in the back and make everything fit really well. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is just show you guys what I'm going to do on only one of the wheels and then I might just take a time lapse of all the other three or just leave it out altogether. But I'm definitely going to show you guys what I'm doing because it's kind of like a whole process of getting everything cleaned up, making sure these are on really well. And yeah, so let me get the car jacked up and I'll show you guys what I'm about to do. Okay, also testing to make sure these fit correctly. And they do not fit. Spacers do not fit. I had a feeling something like this was gonna happen. These spacers do not go on to the studs. Ripperoni. I had a feeling. Let me let me try another one, I guess. I don't know. Got another one of the spacers. This one does not fit either. Good move. So $260 for spacers. And they don't fit. Definitely have to be contacting the company. I'm a little bit pissed off, dude. The reason why this doesn't really make sense at all is because it has you put in your make, model, and vehicle like make in vehicle and year of your vehicle and it then it pulls up all the information so I don't understand why or how this could be wrong for these to not fit that wow that's really stupid see like I wouldn't be that upset but these took three weeks to get here like I waited three weeks for these and it's probably gonna be another four weeks now or more because I have to contact the company they're gonna have to make me some new ones. Uh, if, I don't even know if they're gonna like cover this, like, like give them to me for free or anything. I had a feeling this was gonna happen, guys. I'm I'm a little upset. I guess now would be a good time to get a good thumbnail, maybe. I don't know. I think they, guys. I think they drilled out the wrong bolt pattern. This one, this hole right here is lined up, and look at these other holes. I think that's. I think these holes which are supposed to be 5 by 105 are the wrong bolt pattern. These are these studs are definitely right. These are 5 by 100, which is what I ordered. I also ordered 5 by 105 for the vehicle. 
I put in my vehicle information and everything, and they drilled it to the wrong bolt pattern. So I think that's what happened. They just drilled it to the wrong bolt pattern, which is so stupid. Like, I, I don't know. I can't stress this enough, guys. I, I put in my vehicle, my make, my model, and the year of my vehicle, and it pulled up all the information. It said 56 and a half millimeter center bore, 5 by 105 bolt pattern, everything, and then they drilled it to the wrong bolt pattern somehow. So. Hello. Hey. What's up? Um, so the new spacers don't fit. Why don't they fit? They drilled it to the wrong bolt pattern. Um, you know how I put my vehicle uh, in, like the year, model, and make? Yep. yep. And it pulled up 5x105? Yep. It's not drilled to 5x105. Okay, so find the phone number on the invoice, call them up, and, and be very mature and very calm about it. Say, hey, I have an uh, issue with my order. Can you help me out? And, you know, what I've been hearing online is when companies have these kind of problems happen, they'll usually just recreate them and send them free shipping and not even charge you extra. Where it says 5x108, it's supposed to be 5x105. So let me see if I can call them real quick. This is Lenny. Hi Lenny. Um, I have a little issue. I ordered some spacer adapters and on the website it, I put in my vehicle make model. It's, it was for a Chevy Cruze and it said 5x105 was the bolt pattern that they would be drilled to. I got my invoice that says 5x108 and I tried to put the spacers on the car and they don't uh, they don't fit on there. Hmm. What was the last name? Godwin. G-O-D-W-I-N. Somebody make a mistake here. Yep. Shoot. All right, we're gonna have to remake those, Mike. Someone accidentally made that error when they processed the order on our end, so we did make them five by one hundred eight on accident. Okay. Do I need to send these back to you, or how does that work? Yeah, I mean, we'd like to get them back for sure. They'll work on. We can modify them to fit. Them bunch of different cars okay just have to open up the board um but there'll be a return label in the box when you get your new ones okay i'll yeah i'll send them back whenever i get the new ones and uh it'll go pretty quick all right today's thursday they'll probably ship out like monday monday tuesday oh that sounds wonderful all right sorry for the mix-up hey that's all right thank you very much for the um excellent customer service yep you got it Take care. Yeah, see you later. Alrighty, guys. So I just called Motorsport Tech in Nevada. Lenny is the uh, salesman. And he said that someone made an error on their side. They put 5x108 instead of 5x105, which is what my car is. And he said they're going to have them shipped out by probably Monday or Tuesday next week, which is awesome. That way it's only going to take probably a week or so to get here, maybe a little bit longer. So. Really happy about that. I'm gonna box these back up because I have to send them back whenever I get the new ones. He said there's gonna be a return label in the box. I, I don't know what I'm doing. You guys heard the whole conversation. So yeah, that's basically what's going on, guys. I need to put my wheel back on my car so I can drive it. And yeah, kind of upsetting, but I'm glad I'm gonna be getting my new spacers back pretty soon. So there we go. Just a little mistake on Motorsports side. Not that big a deal. All right, so there's not really much else I'm going to be doing this video. Probably just gonna be getting dinner ready and everything like that. But at least you guys got a little vlog out of this, right? I know some people have been asking for some more like vlogging style content on my channel. Like I said, a little bit disappointed, but it's not the end of the world. At least I'm getting them fixed and they're gonna be back next week sometime. So I'm sorry this video didn't really turn out like you guys expected. Other than that, thank you for watching. Make sure to share the video with your friends. Leave a like down below and subscribe if you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.